In his recent State of the City address, Mayor de Blasio promised to do more to help small business owners thrive. But some say the cost of doing business in the city is unbearable. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has more now from Woodhaven, Queens. Schmidt's Candy on Jamaica Avenue in Woodhaven, Queens has been around since 1925, founded by Margie Schmidt's grandfather. Now she owns and runs the place, but she says surviving isn't easy. If he didn't buy the building in 1926, I wouldn't be here. The rents are exorbitant. We have to save ourselves from the forces of greed. This month in the state of the city, Mayor de Blasio unveiled his blueprint to save the city, which includes plans to provide resources to help small business owners stay in their shops. We're reducing fines further. We've done it before. We're going to do that more. So when you hear Mayor de Blasio say in his state of the city that he is out to save small businesses. Oh my God, it was so phony. It's not going to say us. Jack Moy has owned MM Hardware on Jamaica Avenue for 40 years. He runs the place alone because he says he can't afford help. He took down his store sign and replaced it with a makeshift one, fearing fines from an archaic 50-year-old law. Everything's pick on the small business now. Do you feel like the city's on your side and the side of small businesses? Or? No, 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 because there's so many layers of nonsense and rules. Schmidt says the city almost fined her for showcasing her grandfather's scale. They don't like this scale. I said, well, they don't use it. He goes, well, can't you put it in the back? I said, no, because it's history. People like to see it. So I avoided a $300 fine by adding this on for display only. Are you serious? I kid you not. While staying afloat is tough for Schmidt and Moy, it's even harder for new businesses trying to get off the ground. Businesses are failing one after another. Can small businesses survive? No, it is impossible. It is impossible with all the nonsense, all the rules and regulations that the, the city of New York is implementing. Some business owners say they feel like the city's abandoned them, and they worry if nothing changes, many businesses will have to abandon their neighborhood. In Woodhaven, Queens, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Now, in the state of the city address, the mayor also promised that he would provide free lawyers and fair loans from trustworthy lenders for low-income businesses.